forget to subscribe and give us a like. Thank you. That snowman talk for. Can someone read this to me, please? Here's Mrs. Small's new book. A to Z, 26 alphabetic alliterations. Look under Show More for more information. Or purchase on Amazon. Ah! Mind Stretching Math Riddles. Math Appeal by Greg Tang, illustrated by Harry Briggs. First page. Square deal. My kite flies high, my kite flies free. My kite just landed in a tree. I was busy counting squares. Now my kite is stuck up there. How many squares? Let me see. It's best to add diagonally. Diagonally, that's like this. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we know that there's five in each diagonal line. One, five. Then we count by fives. Five, ten, fifteen. 25. That's right. 25 squares. That was the easy one. Boston Tea Party. A pea would find it rather odd to be alone inside a pot. They like to hang out with their friends. For them, the party never ends. Can you count up all the peas? With elevens, it's a breeze. Okay, so I see one, two, three, four, five, six. Six and five. That makes eleven. We're going to use our handy dandy book. So there's eleven. You can group those two. I'm not going to draw on the book. Then I see six here and six here. But here's five and here's five. So what we can make this a group, which is also 11, and this is the same, 11, and then 6 here, 3 and 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, see, 6 and 5 make 11. Now, all we have to do is add them up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, this is the add symbol, 44. Peas. That wasn't too hard. Okay. Frog gone. It's roll call at the local bog. Can you count each friendly frog? Some are sitting calm and pleasant. Some are swimming. They're not present. Here's a tip to help you act. Don't ignore a lily pad. Oh, this could be a subtraction problem. So, one, two, three, four, five. It's five this way. One, two, three, four, five. Five lily pads this way. So we know that five times five is five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. It's counting five, five times. So we have 25 lily pads in all. But I see some are missing. Let's count how many frogs are missing. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I know there's 25 when they're all there, but six are missing, that means we have to take away six, minus six, and that equals 19. 19 frogs remain. All right, it wasn't too hard. They want us to group so it's easier, I think. You have to see some patterns. 
red hot chili peppers. Chilies take a long siesta, then head out for a fiesta. Noon's the time for feeling lazy. Night's the time for going crazy. How many peppers on the town? Don't count up or even down. Group the chilies in the square. Add the rest and you'll be there. They want us to group these. Mm. Oops, let's turn the page. We have, oh, I see a big, kind of a big square shape here. We have some that are out of that box. We have one, two, three, four going this way, and one, two, three, four going that way. That takes care of all of these. We know that four times four, this count is saying four, four times. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. One and six together. So we got 16, but we still have some more, don't we? One, two, three, four outside the box. So now we can take this 16 and add it to four more. What does that equal? It means we have 20. You can also write it this way. This is the ones place, this is the tens place. Six and four are ten. Carry the one. One and one are two. Twenty. It's not so hard. Let's do one more. This will be part one. Lucky clovers. There among the blades of grass, I came across a clover mass. Some had four leaves, some had three. How many total do you see? Instead of counting row by row, why not add the leaves below? Okay. Three, three leaves and three leaves and four leaves. See if there's a pattern. Three leaves? Three leaves and four leaves. That's the same, but just mixed up. Four leaves, three leaves, and three leaves. That's the same, just mixed up. Three leaves, three leaves, and four leaves. So if we count this one and add three more of that same number, we should get the right answer. Here we have three leaves and three leaves. That's six, right? Three plus three is six. But we got to add four more. So let's add four more to it. So six, we're carrying this to this area. Plus four more equals 10. Now we have, this is a 10 and we know that each row has the same amount of leaves. All right, so we get 10 in each line. So we can say 10, Let's count by tens, four times. 10, 20, 30, 40. So we have 40 leaves. 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. Oops, 40. That's what we need to look for, are patterns like that. Makes, makes adding so much easier. Okay, we're gonna stop there and we'll start with this one for part two. Click on the bell.